What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Okami. Uh, where we last left off, we uh, defeated the the two twin demons, the owl demons, uh, Lechku and Nechku, in Waku Shrine. We cleared up the blizzard, and then the eclipse happened. Uh, Oki's sword smashed through the frozen lake, and the Ark of Yamato rose up into the air, and now there's a rainbow bridge, and we have to cross it. However, once we go on there, there's no turning back. That's the we're heading into the end of the game, and uh, so I took a break after the last uh, episode, and I went back and I 100%ed everything. I've gotten all of the stray beads. Uh, I will show you guys that now. I have, as you can see here, I have every single stray bead except for the last one, which you get when you beat the game. But uh, other than that, I've got everything. I have collected every single treasure. Uh, I have found every fish. I actually literally just finished all of this stuff, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour ago. We've got every single fish. We found every animal. Though That happened on, on screen. You guys saw that. We got everything in the travel guide. Uh, we have everything except for a few enemies in the bestiary there's one more that we missed because i didn't i totally forgot you have to get it when you're in the past in shinshu field um but however i did look it up and there's a way you can get it once we get onto the arc of yamato so i have to remember to do that uh i've got every single move uh, i went i've got enough money or i went and got enough money went into the the dojo got the last uh, technique, which is Brown Rage, which is that thing you saw when we fought a couple of the uh, the canine warriors where they take a shit and it explodes. <laughs> um, but yeah, the only thing we never did, we never gotten any fortunes, which it doesn't count towards completion or anything. There's no achievement for it, so I never worry about it. Plus, it doesn't really help you any. It doesn't do anything for you. But also... Fully upgraded on everything, got all four astral pouches, got all of the, the ink pots, all of the health, uh, all the way completely upgraded. So uh, we are ready, and um, be prepared for a, sorry about that, dropped my phone, uh, a very long cutscene right off the bat. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start heading up this here, this here rainbow bridge. But wait, wait, Amy. You know what'll happen if you cross this rainbow bridge and board the Ark of Yamato, don't you? I mean, that boat is bad news. The people of Kamui all know that. It's the most hated and feared thing in all the land. Even legends have nothing good to say about it or Laoji Lake. And you know there's no turning back once you board that thing. Huh? You look like you want to say something. Resolve? You mean you've got the resolve to pass the point of no return? I sure do. I see. Well, I guess this is it then. Amy, don't you go dying like you did a hundred years ago. I won't. If I do, I'll just respawn because I've got plenty of golden peaches and some, uh, lots of astral pouches. Lots of revives, but, yep, yeah, long ass cutscene time. <clears throat> sure happy soon. Roughly 40 hours. <laughs> you forgot about Blight. We fought Blight first, dude. That's true, it is. Come on, E soon.
That is true. I will tell you, the first time I watched this cutscene, I legitimately cried. Or at the very least, I got very teary-eyed. Waka. Oh, fantastic. That was a typo. Should have put a question mark there. <laughs> don't act like you don't care, E. Soon. You sure showed him. Nope. Denied. Apologies for Akira's barking. He's afraid of the tile and won't walk across it on his own. You soon. <laughs> Are you supposed to be looking at Isun right here? <laughs>
Bye bye, soon. Achievement! Sayonara! Okay, that cutscene wasn't as long as I remember it being. We are now on the Ark of Yamato. Who are you? Marco! My goodness! I can hardly believe it! My eyes may have been enveloped in darkness all this time, but I know when I see a divine being before me. Okami Amaterasu, you've returned home. I, Marco, would like to welcome you on behalf of all Celestials. Hey, I can see through you. Oh, I made a mistake. I said that you returned home, but of course I was wrong. This is the inside of the dreaded Ark, which fell from the heavens. It's nothing like our wonderful home, the Celestial Plane. Alas, only my spirit is still in this world. It's been imprisoned here for many years. Perhaps it was my destiny. Okami Amaterasu. I'd be so grateful if you could bestow upon us a small gift. Not only for me, but for the others who succumbed to death. In exchange, I will give you what I can. I'm sure that it would lift everyone's spirits. Money. Look at all the fish I have to sell. <laughs> I've got so much fish. Hey, you figured it out. You scaredy cat. Look at how much money I've got. Let's see, we can sell all the seed bags. Or feed bag, sorry. Uh, I did actually have to buy a bunch of these. Uh, there's one of the the side quests, for, or not, I guess not side quests, but for the uh, like three of the stray beads, there's like these um, devil gate trials where you have to fight a series of ten devil gates in a row, um, and the last one, or well, really all of them. The first one was the easiest one. The second one was you know medium. Then the the hardest one was the last one. And the easiest way to do it was to get a bunch of infinity stones so that you didn't never run out of ink. But yeah, they're they're pretty tough. But to buy, first we gotta buy the last weapon in the game, the tundra beads, and the last two gold dusts, which by the way, the third gold dust uh was in where the uh 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 blockhead grande was in Camui. That's where it was. I I completely forgot about that, but yeah. Uh, let's see. What can we buy with Demon Fangs? Probably nothing. I'm pretty sure I bought all of the yeah. I bought all of the the artifacts, uh, including the golden ink pot, which makes your ink regenerate much faster, which was also very helpful for those uh, Devil Gate trials. But I've got everything now. All we can buy is golden peaches and Traveler's Charms. And stuff which I might actually just go ahead and buy a bunch of these because uh, we don't need the demon things for anything else so run up here I believe could have sworn we get visited by somebody so anyway basically the way that the Ark of Yamato works as you can see, there's all these, you can see all these cave paintings, which, funnily enough, they look like bosses we've fought before. That's Blight, that's Orochi, there's the Spider Queen, there's the Crimson Helm, and there's Ninetales. So yes, in case you haven't figured it out, the Ark of Yamato is a boss rush. You have to go through and you have to fight all of these enemies again. But, uh, they actually are pretty easy. They're not as difficult as they were the first time you fought them which it makes sense because you have upgraded weapons and you have more health and ink and all this stuff so good if i'm not mistaken you're from our home the celestial plane it's you okami amaterasu who would have thought we would meet again after all this time all my waiting under the dark cold ice has paid off we celestials may have lost our physical form but our spirits live on and are with you for all eternity hakuba 
We were heartbroken after the battle on the celestial plane when you fell to this world with that monster. We managed to escape before it happened, but little did we know about the tragedy that was about to befall us. After we ran away from the battle, we boarded the Ark of Yamato, hoping to get away. But not long after we set sail, countless monsters appeared from the depths of the Ark. Having nowhere to run, all of us were devoured by the monsters. This Ark, which was built by the Lunar Civilization, turned out to be a cargo ship designed to transport thousands of monsters. Not long after setting sail, the Ark lost its rudder and plummeted down to this world. The Celestials on board, each and every one of us, were slain. I don't know why the Moon Tribe built such a thing, but when the Ark fell to this world and brought such tragedy, well, it was nothing short of a disaster. Okami Amaterasu, it seems that the Ark has begun to move again after all this time, but this place is like a nest of dark beings. Please take care not to be sucked into the darkness. I won't. I'll do my best. So yeah, we're just going to go in a circle. We're going to start on one end, work our way around, and fight all these bosses we've fought before. We'll start with Blight. I forgot how he worked <laughs> for a second there. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just wrecking him. Easy peasy. This won't take long. Might even finish the whole thing in one video. No, it'd probably still be two. Hi, Raz. Yeah, not not a not a super difficult thing to do here. Okami Amaterasu. It seems one of the dark beings has disappeared. If only all of the evil power would leave our midst. Then I'm sure the Ark would return to the Celestial Plane. Ah, I was ready for immortality. But now it seems the time has come for my spirit to take leave. It's brought joy to my heart to have met you before I depart. I hope that you will return to the Celestial Plane, Amaterasu, and that you will bring light to this world once more. Bye. Can I go back in there? Okay. I'm just going to attempt... I believe it the it said it was the one after the Orochi fight after you fight Orochi again is where I will get the last enemy that I'm missing. Uh what I'm missing is one of the clay soldiers, one of the clay soldier variants. I believe it's the um it's the the reskin of um shit, what's it called? Reskin of the blue imp. The one that flies, that floats around. That's the one I'm missing. So we'll check again because the next one's Orochi. So. They said that if you fight the, in the, the Demon Scroll after Orochi's battle, that there should be a clay flyer there. And that should help me because then after that, the only entry that we're missing on the uh, bestiary is the final boss so we'll get that one so the good thing about the orochi boss fight this time around is it's not quite as long okay well okay never mind i guess i was wrong Go ahead and use one of these real quick. Nope, still got to do this beginning part. I could have sworn that you didn't have to redo this or didn't have to do this part. Guess I was wrong. So yeah, you fight Orochi three times in this game. <laughs> 
But, oh, that's right. You don't have to do the end part where, um, screw it. I'll just do that from here. Um, you know, where Susano or Nagi would, uh, you know, you got that little mini game with cutting all the heads. That part you don't have to, you don't have to do. You just finish him off with your last hit. God damn it. Come on. I don't know why this is not blooming. Thank you. Jesus. Dude. I guess it just doesn't feel as long because, you know, you've done it so many times. And because we have the most powerful weapon in the game, and it's upgraded. <laughs> Down with the first head. Cause honestly, it's like this isn't my least favorite part of the game, but it's just like couldn't have come up with something different, you know, instead of just, oh, let's fight the same eight bo or five bosses you've already fought. And one of them you've already fought twice. So fight him again. Like I understand it though, like like in terms of the story of the game, it makes a lot of sense. Because, you know, literally the entire game, they've been pointing out to you that the dark spirits of each of the bosses has been flying north after you defeat it, you know? So, like, I get it. I'm right here. I'm right here. So like like I said, I get it, but at the same time, it's just like from a gameplay perspective, it's like, man, this is not that creative. Wow, I got rid of like 75% of his health bar. That was crazy. Oh. Yeah, I've got all the weapons upgraded, everything. Oops. And done. Finito. Magical elevator. But yeah, we don't have Isun with us anymore. It's sad. Walk out here. Turn right back around. 
Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. That is not a clay flyer. These are Namahage. Uh, that's not great. It said after Orochi, but don't worry. We'll, we'll check them all because I really, really hope I get it. I don't want to have to play through the whole game just to get that one achievement again. <laughs> Another Celestial. It's you, Okami Amaterasu. I did wonder when the Ark began to move. Lo and behold, it's the guardian of our home, the Celestial Plane. Sado. Why did such tragedy befall us? This Ark was built by the Lunar Civilization as a rescue boat. It had been enshrined in the Celestial Plane for many years. We believed it would be safe. In order to ensure our future existence, we fled to the Ark when the monsters attacked us. How could we have known this Ark would become our coffin? I don't know. Maybe it's our destiny. Perhaps it was all decided from the start. That monster, Orochi, who attacked the Celestial Plane, had suddenly come flying across the Sea of Stars. And after destroying our people and our homeland, it went on to cause pain and suffering in this world. Perhaps, perhaps it was all preordained by the Moon Tribe. Who knows? What are you doing, Raz? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't look at who we were fighting. I think it's Spider Queen. Oh yeah, that's right, the Spider Queen. We've technically fought the Spider Queen like three times at this point. No, four times at this point. Because we fought the original Spider Queen and then we fought the, the Bandit Spiders, which there's three of those. So technically we fought her four times already. Now she takes three vines. Does this work? I don't know if this works. Should have tried that in the first place. Ah, she gobbled me up. I got greedy. I got greedy. That's my own fault. Done. Phew. <laughs> Wow, it's already been 30 minutes. Yeah, definitely not going to only be in one part. <laughs> the final boss fight alone takes like 30 minutes. I might be exaggerating on that, but we'll see. Kami Amaterasu, I sense the presence of someone here on the Ark. Could it be that man from the Moon Tribe? can feel his pain somewhere deep down inside this ark. Amaterasu, you must save him without a moment's delay. You must stop the seeds of tragedy from being sown. In order for the evil in this world to be exercised, the sun god Amaterasu must return to the celestial plane. I pray that you will watch over the world from the heavens, and that you will bestow peace upon us all. Oh, I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't you worry. Oh, clay flyer. Oh, we got clay soldiers. That's a good sign.
Not in this one, though. God damn it. It's literally the only thing I'm missing from the, the bestiary. All right, time to fight Crimson Helm again. Oh, also, or well, I'll tell you in a minute. 